So this is going to be a tutorial on how to use Google Earth for our uh, project to find areas of land masses and bodies of water. So you should be able to find Google Earth anywhere in your start menu. It uh, might be in all programs. All stool, school computers should have it. Google Earth and go ahead and click on that to open this up. So go ahead and decide on a land mass or a body of water. I'm going to go ahead and do Steamboat Ski Resort. And so if I search that, it'll go ahead and zoom in and bring me to the resort. So what I want to try and do is approximate the area of the resort by using triangles. So I'm going to zoom out so I get a full picture of the triangle. I need to do, use at least three triangles. So as I'm kind of honing in on the resort, I can see it starts down here, kind of comes up around here and comes back down there. So what I'm going to do here is start uh, mapping out some triangles so that I can find the area of Steamboat Ski Area. So what I'm going to use up here is my ruler tool. Um, so I'm going to, you can do miles, you can also do feet, yards, inches, depending on the size of the land mass you're doing, you might want to use feet if it's a smaller area, miles or for a larger area. So I'm going to stick with miles. So if you have mouse tool navigation clicked right there, every time you click it's going to move around your map. So it's best if you just unclick that. So my first triangle I'm going to click and pick is I'm going to do and approximate it up here. I'm going to redrag this out here and kind of get that outside. It's going to be approximation so some parts of the mountain I won't have but I could add another triangle depending on the time. We just got to do it with at least four. So over here I see I'm going to use the ground length. So I have a ground length of 2.72 miles. So I'm going to record this on a separate sheet of paper. Uh, so that length is 2.72 miles and it has a bearing of 77 point let's round out five degrees so that's going from true north so as I think about this that 77.5 degrees if this is true north that's represented as zero degrees okay so that 77.5 is that bearing right there so I recorded my length of that line and my bearing. So I'm going to go back to Google Earth. I'm just going to go ahead and save this line because I want to do a screen capture when I'm all done. So I save that and I got one line. So I'm, again, I'm going to make a second line. And I'm going to start at that location. And I'm going to bring that to about here. And... I'm going to record that of being a 2.15 long with a bearing of 105.76. So once I have that recorded, I can say, all right, if that's 2.15 and this is a bearing of true north, so that angular distance is right here is 105.76 degrees. So if I want to find this actual angular measurement of this triangle I'm creating, I just simply have to take the two angles, 105.76 minus 77.5, and I'm going to get this angle of being 28.26. All right, so then I'm going to go back to Google Earth, and I'm going to save that and just call that line 2. And then from here, I'm going to complete this triangle and go from there to there. And so that distance is going to be 1. 1.29 with a bearing north of... 25.04. I won't need to know all these because just like I did on problem 9, if you remember from our assignment, <clears throat> problem 9, 
we didn't have every angle and every side given to us. So as we're going through this process, we're only going to need to know certain ones on Google Earth. And we want to be able to solve some of them for with sine and co laws of sine and laws of cosine to find your angles and side lengths along with different using different formulas for your area, your standard formula and Huron's formula. So going back to Google Earth, I get that as 25.04 and my bearing of 20 and the ground length of 1.29. I'm going to save that and just call that line 3. So from there, I'm going to kind of see, all right, I can approximate this other part of the resort. Um, maybe with a line that would come down here and a line. Well, I got to save that one first. So before I jump the gun and make another line, I'm going to go ahead and ch do that and say, and I'm going to adjust it a little bit so I can get it as one triangle and just kind of overestimate it here. And I'm going to get that as 2.57 a bearing of 171.31 degrees. And I'm going to save that as line 4. And hit OK. And then as I do this again, I can do this triangle from here to there and approximate it there with that <coughs> line being 1.68 with a bearing of going up 326.14 and I'm going to save that again as line 5. Okay, So you're going to go through this process and try and best estimate the area of some landmass or body of water. Um, I might down here decide to do another triangle here save and record those measurements, save that line, um, make that triangle, save and record that line, and then over here I have maybe a fourth triangle where I can go from here to there, save that line, and then make another one from here to over here and maybe to make it easier on myself I can just change this and connect it to that vertice so I know the length of this uh, triangle there as well and record that and save. So once you have that all recorded what, I, what we're going to do is you're going to create presentations on Google Presentation. So if you come over here you're going to start it off and once you have your screen capture well, the, well you're going to need to make a screen capture you can come to here go to start snipping tools okay and I didn't get that last line but the idea is is I'm going to make a snip of the area that I have and I can go ahead and use that and paste it into my Google presentation and as I have it here probably want to maximize it as much as possible I can go in and type in the values that I know um, so I'm going to adjust and just maybe do 9 and so that was 2.72 it's not quite big enough so let's kinda go let's try 14 so that looks about right so as I select that that length was 2.72 I probably want to put um, miles there and then I also can label my angle that I found here as 
degrees and then I know that this side over here was 2.15 miles and slowly fill in necessary information so that somebody else could solve this problem. Um, remember, I don't need all my angles filled in at this point. You have to show your work and go through the process and find the areas of these other triangles using laws of sines, laws of cosines, and your area formulas.